I'm not going to keep you long today, so pay attention when the film comes on. No commercials, no promotions, everything straight to the film. So I did a video a week or so ago about Don't Forget About Gus Edwards. This man right here is the reason why I did that video. So keep in mind, we're not going to forget about Gus, but this is going to be our lead dog in the backfield right here. And here are five plays to show you how Mark Ingram is going to help lead us to the promised land this year. Sip the Talent presents Ravens Roundup. Mark Ingram version coming right now. The first play we're going to look at is a play similar to what we run already. And this is an inside zone. And they're going to use the uh, that little receiver that's at the top of your screen to cut off the end because Drew Brees is not a runner. But um, we did an earlier video about Gus and said, don't forget about Gus Elbows. This is the, the other guy that's going to be in the backfield, Mark Ingram. So we're going to get a, a similar style runner, just, a, I think, a better version of Gus. And let's uh, dive right into it and see exactly what Mark gives us. Now, keep in mind, this is a similar type play to what we run already. This is an inside zone. They're just going to cut off the uh, read man with, with the receiver. Nice little cutback. That's a tough run on the end. Let's see it from the back. Again, all these guys, the Saints have a pretty good old line too, are going to block to their left. This guy here, going to cut off the read man, which is this guy, because this guy's head up on this uh, tight end or tackle. I can't really tell if it's a number, but he's in a, kind of like in a tight end position. If he was outside, he'd be the read guy, and he'd probably wash him down. Because he's right over, right head, uh, head up on him, he's going to wash him down, and then this is going to be the read, read guy now. But let's watch Ingram. Hit it. Straight down here, coming in the A-gap. But A-gap's taking up. Carolina does a good job of, of holding their position. Look at the vision. There's the hole. Look at the vision. See it going already. Now hit it full speed. Now, once you, you do that, you got through the slow two, burst through the line. Now you become a hard tackle. I mean, a hard runner. Make it hard for him to tackle you. Especially DBs. First missed tackle. Okay, that's five yards after the first missed tackle. Second missed tackle. Another five yards. Two guys get him down. So after contact, that's 12 yards. Now this next play is it's kind of zone-ish, but it's a little different, kind of like a dive. And what I didn't realize is how good Mark was at making people miss until I uh, start watching these games and trying to trying to study his running style. He he does a good job to be a bigger back at making guys miss. He, he's fleet of feet to be a, a bigger back, and he has good explosion that, you know, I really didn't know. Like I say, this is some kind of, to me it's still like zone, inside zone, because you got a double here and a double here, and this guy's base blocking. This guy's trying to cut off that, the end guy. Watch the jump cut again. Boom, right to the open spot, and I burst. One missed tackle. And had he had more 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 um, yardage to work with, he probably outran 24. Watch it again from this view. If he had more sideline to work with, he probably would outran 24. Because that's a terrible angle. That's a terrible angle. All right, but again, I think we got a gym. I think his running style and Gus's style going to complement each other pretty darn good. Let's go to the next play. I'm on this next play, we don't run this one per se, but you're going to see the similarities and I'm going to uh, talk you through it. So let me let it run through first and then I'll talk you through it. Missed tackles again. Look at that. Missed tackles again. Now remember, you know, if you watch the older videos and we talked about, um, I think it was Gus Edwards, and we showed the tight end would come across one way, then come across the other way and cut off the end. This is the same deal just from under the center. And so this is still split zone. 89 is going to come cut off the end. Uh, 82, which is this tight end, is going to run up like on Archer linebacker or something. And it's still split zone. And just watch Ingram's um, vision and ability to get through the line. There's 89 coming with, see all these guys, all the O-line blocking left. 89 is coming to cut off the end. And Mark's just going to read it. Still trying to hit it downhill. 
this guy should have his head up. He doesn't. So watch this jump cut. Get jump cut right into the open hole. Make guys miss. Make guys miss. I think we got a gym, fellas and ladies. I think we got a gym. I mentioned on the last play his, his agility and his ability to make people miss. This play right here in itself shows you, you that on a, a, a higher level. It's going to be a little screenplay. Now, right now it's so far. It's just average. This is where it gets, this is where it gets interesting. Stop your feet. Make him miss. Spin there. Go score. Didn't realize Mark Ingram had it like that. Didn't realize it. Burst. Instead of just run out of bounds, keep the play alive and go get six. Love it. I love this addition. I really do. And on his last play again, because I remember I said I didn't want to keep you long today. Watch the vision and the cuts. One, two, three. Cover the ball. That's what you need in the running back right there. This guy's more complete than I thought. More complete. Watch the cuts from this view. Again, this is that, that split zone. You know, it's a staple of our offense. They just run from under center. Hole's not there. We we'll jump cut. That cut right there. Here you go. Boom. That's one because that guy's out there. Another one to try to get a di different angle on this guy. Then cut off that block right there. Cut the ball up. See traffic and cut the ball up. Again, Mark's probably going to be the starter. Uh, Gus will be in there from time to time, but I'm really pleased with this pickup. I hope he can stay healthy. I really hope he can stay healthy because um, adding him to the running game because he can also pass pro. I didn't stick any of that in there, but trust me, Mark, Mark Ingram can pass pro, and he can catch the ball at the backfield also. Not as good as Kamara did. That's why they could afford to get rid of him. But uh, Ingram's going to be a welcome addition to our lineup. And, again, people sleeping on Baltimore, all this Cleveland hoopla and hopla out there. But don't sleep on the Ravens. And again, this is Coach Evans coming to you. See the Tatter presents Ravens Roundup. Mark Ingram.